Good afternoon, dear listeners. I'm a student of the 13th group of the second year of the pediatric faculty, Yerimchuk Ina. I present to your attention a report on the topic Fyodorov Svetoslav Nikolaevich, the main revolutionary of ophthalmology. Svetoslav Nikolaevich Fyodorov is a renowned scientist, academician, doctor of medical sciences, founder of the Eye Microsurgery Scientific and Technical Center, who has made a real revolution in ophthalmology. In the hospital, the young Fyodorov saw a huge number of maimed men who thought their lives were over. The tragic turn of fate didn't break the young man. He realized that if you work uh, hard, you can achieve anything. All his life, Fyodorov had worked hard. Many people around him had no idea of his disability. Losing his leg didn't turn to into a man with an inferiority complex. On the contrary, it helped him to develop the ability to achieve his goal at any cost, to act with confidence and proactivity. Losing his leg didn't turn to into a man with an inferiority complex. On the contrary, it helped him to develop the ability to achieve his goal at any cost, to act with confidence and proactivity. While in hospital, the young man decided what profession he wanted to pursue. After the war ended, Fyodorov enrolled at the Medical Institute in Rostov on two to study ophthalmology. In his fifth year at the institute, while on duty, Svetoslav Fyodorov performed the primary surgical treatment of an injured eye for the first time on his own. He managed to save the vision of a locksmith who had a piece of iron chisel embedded in his eyeball. After graduating from the institute, he began working in the village of Vishnevskaya as an ophthalmologist. Fyodorov continued his residency training and was first able to defend his PhD and uh, then his uh, doctoral uh, thesis. He didn't like the monotonous work, and uh, when he learned that uh, the Chibaksari branch of the Moscow Institute of uh, Eye Disease was uh, studying cataracts, uh, he accepted uh, an invitation uh, to work uh, for them. Since 1961, Fyodor worked as head of the department at the Arhangelsk Medical Institute, developed medical materials and performed numerous operations. A team of doctors gathered around him with patients coming from all over the country to see him, with the dream of regaining their sight. Fyodor's achievements received official recognition in 1967. He was transferred to Moscow, where he headed a laboratory, which after some time became an independent research institution in experimental and clinical eye surgery. Fyodorov obtained outstanding results uh, in the replacement of the clouded eye lens with an artificial an artificial one. He developed fundamentally new types of lenses with great plasticity and models of artificial cornea. His methodology became the basis for over 30,000 successful surgeries. In 1979, Fyodorov's laboratory was transformed into a scientific research institute and in 1986 into the eye microsurgery intradustry complex. 
Святослав Николаевич actively con conducted scientific research, performed the most complex operations, and passed on his experience to young surgeons. His clinic became world-renowned. The clinic had its own ship with special equipment where operations were carried out, a helicopter and an aeroplane. Academician and scientist Svetoslav Fyodorov has made many scientific discoveries and holds 180 patents for his inventions. But his main achievement is more than 3 million successfully operated patients. Svetoslav Fyodorov has published several fundamental and serious works uh, which enable to develop ophthalmology uh, as a science today. Svetoslav Nikolaevich Fyodorov has been awarded the title of the Hero of Labor. Uh, he is a holder of uh, orders and medals and uh, is a uh, uh, recipient uh, of different prizes. The international professional community awarded him the title of the greatest ophthalmologist in 2002. Svetoslav Nikolaevich Fyodorov tragically died in helicopter crash caused by a technical fault on the 2nd of June the year 2000. Streets in Kaluga and Chibaksare have been named in his memory. Uh, six monuments have been erected to him and uh, two Moscow ophthalmology institutions bear his name. Svetoslav Nikolaevich Fyodorov is a real man and scientist. His biography is still of interest to the public and uh, is an example of determination and will to live. Thanks for your attention.